Hey there, foodies and gadget gurus. Dale here from Press to Cook, bringing you another kitchen tech tip that'll save the day. Today we're diving into the cool world of Fisher and Paykel fridges. Ever had your fridge just give up on you and you don't know what to do? Don't worry, I've got you covered with a step-by-step guide on how to reset your Fisher and Paykel fridge. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. All right, first things first, why might you need to reset your fridge? Maybe it's not cooling properly or perhaps those pesky error codes keep flashing. Either way, resetting can often solve these issues without the need for a technician. Trust me, it's easier than you think. Step one, unplug the fridge. Yep, just pull that plug out of the socket. We want to give the fridge a clean slate and unplugging it is like hitting the reset button on your computer. Wait for about 10 minutes to let all the residual power drain out. While we wait, why not share in the comments what's the weirdest thing you've ever found in your fridge? I'll go first. I once found a sock. No idea how it got there. After those 10 minutes are up, plug the fridge back in. This is where the magic happens. Most minor issues should be resolved with this simple power cycle. But we're not stopping there folks. Next, we need to check the internal controls, open up the fridge and look for the control panel. Depending on your model, it could be on the inside wall or the ceiling of the fridge compartment. Got it? Great. Now press and hold the power button for about five seconds. This will reset the internal computer and hopefully clear any error codes. If your fridge has a display screen, you might see it flicker or go blank for a moment. Don't panic, this is totally normal. Once the display comes back on, check if the error codes are gone. If they are, awesome. You've successfully reset your fridge. If not, don't worry. We've got more tricks up our sleeve. Some models have a demo mode that can be accidentally activated. This mode is designed for showrooms and will make the fridge appear to work without actually cooling. To check if your fridge is in demo mode, look for a small icon on the display that looks like a plug or a power cord. If you see it, consult your user manual to find the specific steps to exit demo mode. Usually it's a combination of pressing and holding certain buttons. Now let's talk about the freezer. Sometimes the freezer might need a separate reset. Locate the freezer control panel. It's usually inside the freezer compartment. Press and hold the power freeze button for about five seconds. This will reset the freezer settings to their default state. Give it a few minutes to stabilize and then check if it's cooling properly. All right, we're almost there. One last thing, make sure the vents inside the fridge and freezer are not blocked. Sometimes food items can obstruct these vents and mess with the cooling process. Clear them out and you should notice an improvement in temperature regulation. And there you have it folks, a step-by-step -step guide to resetting your Fisher and Paykel fridge. Easy, right? Remember, if these steps don't solve the problem, it might be time to call in the pros. But nine times out of 10, these tricks will do the job. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might need this tip. And don't forget to subscribe for more kitchen hacks and tech tips from yours truly. Got any questions or need help with another appliance? Drop a comment below and I'll get right on it. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep it cool and press to cook.